There are a couple of things that every website needs and that's a privacy policy and a terms of service page and that will get Google to smile upon you. And another thing you need to really think about is get rid of the clunky stock footer. So with Genesis that's actually pretty easy to do. And we're going to take care of both of those in about two seconds here. The first thing we need to do is go get the Genesis simple sidebar or simple edits plugin. This allows you to edit the footer very easily. We're going to install that and activate it. And we're also at the same time we're going to go get another plugin to do the privacy page. And it's called Auto Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. We're going to search plugins. We're going to pick this one here. We're going to install now. Say yes. And we're going to activate the plugin. Now at this point we actually have to go into the editor, select the auto terms and service and privacy policy plugin, and there's some very simple things that you can fill in down here. They're going to ask for site name among other things. So what you do is you come down here, they have a simple to-do list. And step one, you start filling in your information here. I'm actually just going to paste in the domain name. Copy part of this. Paste it in right here. And then we just add in our own information. This is rather. We've got this, we've got this. I want you to be 18 to use the site. We'll just take their default suggestions here. Put them in the brackets. This one here, it's okay to leave blank. I'm actually in the state of California. And we're pretty much done. We flip the little switch here to one. Update the file. And when you go back up to the top, it shows you here are your short codes that you can use at this point. So I'm just going to copy this. Let me go add a new page. I'm going to call it privacy policy. One of the reasons you'd like to have these things named something simple like this is that Google looks for these pages. It really likes to see them. In this particular case I'm going to give this a full screen layout 
and I'm going to publish this page. I'm going to hit control and click here to get it. That to open up in a new window. Here's our new privacy policy. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to add a new page, which we'll call Terms of Service. code in here. Again we'll select this as a full page. We'll publish that. And we'll also open it in the new tab. Now we go into Genesis into our simple edits. And if you leave this blank, here's your source code. This creates your footer. Let's come back in here, and we're going to highlight the stuff that we don't need. Let's leave the copyright. We'll highlight the stuff that we don't need to delete it. Now we're going to add some HTML. I'm going to add an A href equals quote. Go get the copy or go and copy our terms of service. Go down here so you can see what I did. Go back here and copy our terms of service URL. Go back into simple edits set here, end it with a double quote, bracket, we're going to call this terms of service, this is your anchor text, this is what shows up, end it with a slash a, space, a little hyphen, we're going to add another a href equals double quote, Go get our privacy policy page. Copy that. Control V to paste that. Here. Privacy policy. And that with an A. And then when we tick this little box here, that will make that show up. So if we go back and we refresh this page and we scroll to the bottom, here's our new footer with the terms of service and our privacy policy. That's how you do it.